Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to learn about an important ligament that stabilizes the upper neck that lives in the back or the posterior part of the neck, and it's called the PAOM. And we'll talk about what that has to do with CCI or craniocervical instability. So there are lots of ligaments that hold the head on. And if you read my book, I go through each one of these. But the one we're going to focus on today is the PAOM. And it's back here. And it lives in this section between the skull and C1. Now, it's really the same ligament as the ligament and flavum down in this part of the neck. But up top, uh, for some reason, we call that the PAOM. Uh, and that stands for posterior lenoccipital membrane. It's really not a membrane, it's more of a ligament. This is a tougher image to look at, but probably important to see in that what it shows is looking from the inside of the spinal canal out. And in this case, this is the PAOM, and you can see it's got a hole in it so the vertebral artery can go through there. Um, so, this, these are the front ligaments that we inject with that PICL procedure, and PAOM can be injected from the back. So what does this ligament do? Well, it stabilizes C1 against the skull inflection. Uh, it's usually fused to the dura, which is the covering of the brain and spinal cord. The rectus capitis posterior minor muscle attaches there, and that muscle I've talked about in other videos and why that's important. And damage to the ligament will show up as instability in neck flexion, usually, not always. So it's hard to tell if you've got a tear in this ligament, and the answer is no. It can usually be seen on a routine neck MRI. Uh, the problem is, that is really twofold. One is you need the right type of MRI sequence, which is usually a T2 sagittal. And the other is you need someone who's actually looking back there. And 99% of the time, the reading radiologist is not even looking back there. So it's not going to be found on your average cervical MRI report. Um, so this is an example of a tear, or really a partial tear. So what we should be seeing is the ligament go as a dark line all the way through there. But instead, we see a dark line that goes through this portion. But in this portion, there's no dark line. So that indicates that uh, this area, is, the top area is thinned, and it's not showing up well here. Uh, so there's a significant weakness. Now, this is best seen in this sagittal or side view. Um, and you'll also see the fluid around the spinal cord as white if you're looking at the right sequence. So this fluid here, this fluid here, around the spinal cord and brain should be white. That's called a T2-weighted image. And the ligament can be treated through injection. This is a good example of that. Uh, this is filling in the bottom part of that same ligament you just saw. And then very, very small amount of filling. It gets very wispy as it goes up here. Um, so the goal is to get this area to heal or strengthen. Uh, now, this is an advanced injection to do because, remember, the spinal cord is living right there. And we can't hit that. And the dura, or the covering of the spinal cord, lives right there. Um, and we really can't mess with that. So it has to be done under x-ray guidance using contrast. Now that's not something that a prolotherapy prolo site is going to be able to do. Um, and uh, again, a highly advanced injection, but it can be treated. So in conclusion, uh, the PAOM is an important ligament to check using routine neck MRI. It can usually be seen, so that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is usually not red. Uh, it's involved in some CCI patients. Uh, if it is, it can be treated through a precise image guide injection using contrast. Uh, again, that's an advanced injection as the dura is close, so it's really not performed outside of the Centeno Schultz Clinic in Colorado. Uh, 
So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the PAOM today and have a great day.